Okay, so I just finished watching Growing Up Hip Um, what's LA, New York? I don't know. The one with Angela and them on it. Okay, I just finished watching it. This show needs to be canceled. Kanye, I didn't cut no light on. Y'all can see me as good as y'all can see me. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. Okay, but hello, hello, hello. Thank you for tuning in. Yes, I am Jay Lee. Yes, this is Jay Lee's Corner. Okay, and yes, this is a review for Growing Up Hip Hop Needs to Be Canceled, LA, New York, or whatever city they're in. I, I'm, when I say it wasn't nothing, it wasn't much of nothing. They keep adding um, little twists and, you know what I'm saying, little Kendu, also known as Brianna, to the beginning and in, in, in between each commercial, okay, because. They don't have no content, okay? I feel like they're building all this up, this stuff up around the fight between Brianna and, you know what I'm saying, Love, uh, Love Fake Ass Trapper. And I ain't here for it. I, look, I'm not here for it. But ain't none else on TV, so we, we gonna do what we gotta do. Y'all already know, like, comment, share, subscribe, um, follow me on IG and our Twitter. The link is in the description box below. I don't feel like even going through the whole Jaybird, Jaybird, Don, 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 and all that goodness and stuff and humming, okay? Because I feel like, for what? Poor K, okay? They ain't give me shit. I ain't giving out shit, okay? We see Angela at home getting her makeup done and stuff, and here come Vanessa and Georgia wife. I think her name was Sinise or Tanias or Tania. I'm not sure because they don't say her name enough for me to remember it or whatever. And they come by chit chat and chat chitting or whatever. You know, Vanessa feel like she's fat she don't feel as 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 confident as she used to okay she didn't have a baby she's getting a bit older she's in the she's in the acting injury or whatever and she feel like i'm not you know i'm i don't weigh what i used to weigh and i feel uncomfortable i'm like okay you know her boyfriend who was a wayans said he found well, how she looks she you look good girl i love you girl i ain't cheating you you look fine i don't think you need to lose no way okay but she don't feel good and i always say look even though i'm a big girl i always say if you don't don't feel good in the skin you in, no matter your size, no matter how big or small you are, it's up to you to fix it, okay? Vanessa, if you feel some kind of way, you have the means, the money, the opportunity, the connections in the industry to get you to a lower weight, okay? I'm going to say that. However, don't be doing this shit for the storyline, okay? I ain't got time for that, okay? I ain't got time to be caring when you really don't care, okay? Let, let that be. You know, now, Angela was getting her makeup done when they walked in because she had things to do, okay? And, you know, Vanessa feels some kind of way because she's talking about, you know, because Ava, that's her daughter's name, she asked me, was my baby sister in, in, in your belly? A lot of kids think people who, not, you know, who used to be a size 2 and now they're a size 6 could be pregnant. Okay, tell her shut up. Tell her that's rude. You you don't say that. Okay, mommy's not pregnant. Okay, mommy had a burger. That's all. Don't let no fucking five year old make you feel like you fat. You not. It's just this weird thing. Of, and I I'm not saying how she feel don't matter. But I mean I don't care. And you get mad at Van at Vanessa. I mean at Angela because oh my god I feel like she isn't taking me serious enough because her makeup artist came in and her makeup artist was there doing a job, okay? And he was pressed to go. He was trying to finish his job. Calm the fuck down, okay, Vanessa? Calm the fuck down. Now, anyway, she then gets on a scale because she wants uh, Angela to be her accountability coach or, or whatever because Angela be all out here posing on the gram. Angela and Vanessa bodies are the same. But, uh, Angela just put up a post the other day since she has accepted how her body looks even though she's not a sad zero. But you know what I'm saying? Vanessa ain't more than a sad six. Okay, she can't be more than a sad six. Maybe an eight at the most after eating a burger and some pasta. But I mean, she's not plus size at all. Okay, she's just not as thin as she used to be before she had a daughter. That happens in life. Let's move on. And again, if that's an issue for Vanessa, I want Vanessa to, to, to be the best Vanessa Simmons she can be. But not on my damn watch. Boogie then goes up and he's meeting with JoJo. Okay, they in New York. Because JoJo lives in New York with his wife and his kid. And JoJo there to be there for his dad, his dad be there daddy. 
Dame Dash, okay? Dead beat Dame Dash is who he is. And, you know, he tell him, though, though, you know, my daddy be on some bullshit, okay? He be on some, some hella bullshit, kicking me out of whatever. The last, conversation, the, the last conversation we had, he kicked me out because I did not agree that a building in New York was, you know, called some of us as a brownstone. It was a really dumb-ass argument. Let's be, let's call it spade a spade. It was really, it's my camera. I knew it was something. I didn't have my the, the light all the way up. Now it is. Um, but anyway, you know, because I'm like, I ain't got to have lights on all the time. But, you know, you know, my dad ain't, you know, he kicked me out of whatever. It was a dumb argument, but Dame was also a piece of crap. Okay, Dame was a people, piece of poop. We don't like Dame. We don't like Dame. Dame treat his children like employees he wants to fire, okay? He treats his, he treats them like the employees that you call in to take out your trash and then you knock the trash over just to make them pick it up because you don't like them. That's how Dane treats his kids. Now, that's also not how you should treat employees, okay? So, which means to me, Dane, the way you treat your kids is not how you're supposed to do it. But I digress. Boogie brings up how in my, in my 27 years of life, he only 27 on little baby, and his 27 years of life, you know, he has just never really had a great relationship with his father because Dame is crazy. Dame was full of sh. Dame was not a good father. He never will be. Now JoJo, you know, me and my dad had issues or whatever. You know what I'm saying at times he wouldn't listen to me. You know what I'm saying we, you know, didn't have the best or whatever at one point or the other, but we came back around and now we good. You know what I'm saying. Because you can't give up on your dad. First of all, having Reverend Run as a father versus having Damon Dash as a father is two different things. That's like saying your daddy is either Jesus or Satan. Literally. you just, it's, it's Jesus and Satan. Reverend Jesus. Dame Dash Satan, okay? You can't compare the two. You cannot. Even if you and Rev Ron had issues, Rev Ron has never treated you the way that Dame Dash treats the crap on the bottom of his shoe. With sometimes the Dame is his children. I don't care, okay? Now we then see, you know what I'm saying, in New York, Dame was like, I can't believe I still owe child support. I cannot believe, you know, no one said to support me. I cannot believe everybody care about money. I cannot believe this. Everybody want to see a black man locked up. <sighs> You can't go to jail for child support unless you haven't paid it. You also can't even get arrested for child support unless you have paid it in a long time. Dane chose to ignore the situation saying, I paid it already. But he didn't try to fix it. He didn't try to make sure that it did not get to a court case. You let this get to this point. This is no one's fault. This is no one's fault but you and your dick. Okay? It's only you and your penis. Okay? Anyway, he's a blah, blah, blah. No one cares about me and my money. And I don't care about money. Everyone else cares about money. Everyone else focus is money, 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 not me. You a damn lie. You chase uh uh the, the Lee Daniels all around town for your money. Why? Because you wanted your money. Even though it was a principle about it, you also wanted what? Your money. Miss me with the bullshit of it all day. Now Boogie actually showed up to this court case, okay, because he said, I, you know, I just, I'm just here, you know what I'm saying, I came to New York, so I'm going to be here and lend my support for this particular court case, I would not have shown up, I would have sent my dad, if my dad would dad a text that morning saying, uh, stay strong, holla back, would have been my text, that would have been it, okay, points blank, period, now we then see a little bit later, you know, Boogie come out the courtroom or whatever. There's no damn dad. Because the damn dad was arrested and taken to Queens, okay? For something, his lawyer has no idea why. They thought he was going to that court for one thing and it'll be and it'll be handled. Nah. Took his ass to jail. Took him away. Okay, here go Frankie. Not Frankie. What's her name? Rocky. Ro Rocky. I want to go to Queens to find out what's going on. This is your chance to run, bitch. Run! Why didn't she run? I don't know, but she's dumb. Anyway, because, honey, she's a girl punching bag. Anyway, you know, Boogie then said, yep, gotta go holler at you. I'm, I'm not going to, to, to Queens. I came and did what I do. I holler at y'all next time to put me out of something because he's always putting me out of something or whatever. He said, I came, I saw, I conquered, I'm leaving. He also brings up how my dad issue is he has a lot of baby mamas. He has a lot of kids and a lot of baby mamas, which causes a lot of baby mama drama, okay? And that's his fault. Like I told y'all, him and his penis, okay? Now, the lawyer brings up, like, I don't know why he was transferred there. I have no idea. We don't know what's going on. 
you know, but you know, they had a warrant for his arrest in, in, in Queens, and they took him to Queens. <sighs> anyway, we then see Lil Twist. Lil Twist is in the studio. Now, he said he hasn't had a song on the radio since 2011. I can't even remember what his song was. He has been gone for a long time. It is 2020. Okay, it is 20. 20. Anyway, we see it was him, Brianna was there, JoJo and Bow Wow. He does I feel the pressure to have a new song, you know, and have a good comeback song. And I do get that. If you are an artist who used to be popping for one little minute or whatever, and you haven't had a hit in forever, and ever, and ever, 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 and ever, ever, and you come back, you have to have a, 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 a little banger. If not, we will not remember you for another nine years, okay? But I digress. Now, JoJo and Bow Wow and them talking about Bow Wow and Angela. You know how Angela one is handling like the merch on Bow Wow's tour and blah, 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 you know. And Bow Wow, like, you know, because she a boss and I'm a boss, so we got to just make sure that, you know what I'm saying, we not bossing each other out because, you know what I'm saying, it's still my tour and my merch and I don't want her, like, taking over or whatever. But I, 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 I um, appreciate her help, okay. And then they go, you know, Angela and Bow Wow have been cool for years, you know. There's a love there because they have known each other. I give zero fucks. Okay, I will start caring the day that Bow Wow and Angela, like, kiss on camera. Once they show me any form of it actually being some real, then I will care. Other than that, I don't care about this idle chit chat of shit about how every season, oh my god, it's Angela and Romeo, oh my god, it's Angela and Bow Wow, we don't care. Not Nancy. Half. Nigga, she's known Bow Wow for so long. I mean, they've been friends for so long. And she's also known Romeo for so long. And, oh, you know, because Romeo was like an actor. You know, Bow Wow's like Gimson, a really hard hitting rapper. I don't care. At all. We then see JoJo go talk to Angela about helping Bow Wow. You know, I just need you to, you know, make sure it, it stays busy. I don't need you messing with him or whatever. You know, don't mess with any little, no, don't mess with any of the little. Okay, not little Bow Wow, not little Romeo, not little Zane, not little Baby, not little, not little Woodchuck, Chuck, 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 Chuck anybody. She's like, why would I mess with little Woodchuck or little Zane or anybody? Because you, you might. I don't care. I don't care. We then see Lil Easy, okay, who to me must not have anything going on in life because they never show anything he's doing, okay? Nothing. He, he he's all Lil Easy is literally Easy E's twin as his son, okay? And we don't get much of his story. Girl, boring. But Lil Easy meets up with Sam. I don't know where Sam is, cause Sam lives in Pepper's house. Okay, that Pepper paid for all the sort of Pepper money. And I don't know where Sam. I'm like, cause he at a hotel. Why? I was very, very confused. But I digress. Okay. Now they chit chatting about nothing and about nothing and about nothing. And then when they bring up how Lil Twist is having a a a, a, a single release party, you know, Lil Easy asked him, saying Lil Pepper. That's what Sam's name is. Lil Pepper, if, you know, uh, he gonna come to, to, to Twist's party. Well, I'm gonna come, but I wanna talk to him. He like, talk to him for what? Because well, last season on the show, you know, they show him saying how, you know, um, I'm using Egypt and I'm trying to be, you know, I'm riding her coattails. You are. Her coattails, her weave, her edges, you know, the, the the nips of her shoes, okay, all you on the on the heels and everything, okay. You are riding her a goddamn uh, champion horse, okay. You ride her all the way to we only know you because of Egypt. The fact that Sam and Egypt are like oblivious to these things it makes me feel like they smoking crack or meth or something that doesn't require them to not remember shit. Because my thing is. No one knew who Sam was before he got with Egypt. And ever since she started dating him every season, it's been all about Sam, his music, his band. We ain't heard nothing from, from Egypt, okay? Glad we seen her doing stuff. She was on the damn beach modeling swimsuits. So we still ain't seen them. So even if she no longer wants to do music, because I know she has surgery on her voice, even if she no longer wants to do music, ugh, why is everything about them too? His music. Everything. Excuse me. Everything. Like, they don't show her doing nothing. Nothing. Besides going with him, picking up makeup, and get his nails done, okay? And find out with dildos. I'm not going to I'm not gonna go there. I'm, I'm going too far, okay? Because I don't know if that man like dildos. I assume he do, but I'm going to leave it there. Okay. Anyway, I feel like, look, him, I'm upset because he's sick. Because little twist and I'm using her. You are. 
and nothing you can tell anybody will change our minds, okay? I don't care. Now we then get to the Grand Resistance, which is them in Jamaica. Look, Egypt is there. TT don't know Egypt is there. Mama Bear surprises them. Now, Egypt for like, oh my God, it's TT, it's my brother Tyran, it's, it's you, it's, you know, TT's boyfriend. Y'all are going to ambush me. You're going to, you know what I'm saying? Y'all are going to, um, gang up on me. I'm my girl. For you to want to be an adult, you are such a fucking child. Anyway, you know, in the car, little girl Egypt is so, I don't know what to do. Let me call my mom. Mom, they're going to gang up on me. You know, I need your help. Whatever. I think it's a trap. The only trap is Sam. Okay, Sam is going to try and trap you. Sam is going to knock Egypt up to trap her. Okay, and she don't even see it coming. Girl, a night worth of passion can give you a lifetime of pain. Okay, Dolores. Not Dolores. Lord Jesus. Um, Della Reese. Okay, Della Reese. The line between love and hate. Anyway, at the table, they all sitting there, whatever. And before anyone could say anything, I feel like I need someone here on my side. You know, because you have your mother, she, I need someone here for me. You know what I'm saying? Because she's like, girl, please. You know what I'm saying? My mom, unlike your mom, can be biased. Okay? Well, your mom, Peppa cannot be biased, and she cannot. TT then FaceTimes and Peppa. I'm looking like, oh, my God, whatever. So, they'll be chit chat or whatever. So, you know. Mama Bear says, like, I just think it's crazy that you you already think that, you know, T.T. is in love with Sam. Like, I don't get how this is, is an actual narrative. And Egypt and Pep keep coming back to this bullshit-ass story about Sam said that T.T. was upstairs and she was in the bathroom walking around naked or something. And, you know, T.T. says, first of all, the bathroom was right next to my room. And so you're saying that I walked naked from the bathroom to my room. You know, whatever. That's that's dumb. Egypt then said, did she just admit it? No, she said it's dumb to make it seem as if she was walking around the house naked versus if she walked from the bathroom to her bedroom that was right there and making it seem as if she was doing it to, to show Sam her nakedness. No one wants Sam. No one want Sam. And in a couple years after you've been with that little nasty person for a while, they're not going to want you either, Egypt. You really feel this way. This is my thing. If I have a cousin who I'm cool with, you know, we Egypt and TG has been cool for for all these seasons. If I have a cousin I'm cool with, it ain't not nan man who can come and and can convince me that my cousin is in love with him, and then say, oh, cause she she walked around naked in front of me, and now I wholeheartedly believe she want him. Because I know she wants him. If I know my cousin, I know that ain't in her spirit. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's why we know TT, you know, has a reason to not want to fuck with them. Because you know me and you're still believing him over me and it's dumb. I don't want them. I have my own handsome white man right here. I don't want your, you know, I don't know what Sam is. I don't want your Sam. Let's say that I don't want yo Sam. Now, you know, and Titi Titi also brings up how it's not as if Egypt or Peppa seen this. This is something that Sam told them. Okay? Pep didn't see it. Egypt didn't see it. So it's, it's really hearsay. It's really Sam said this. TD said that, and they're believing Sam. They're choosing to believe Sam, and that's the fucked up part. But you wanna know why? Cause Sam is their drug dealer. Okay, he's their pusher. I'm your pusher, is what he is. Girl, I don't care. Now we have Tyran also bringing up how he's using you. He's going to put you in the gutter. Okay, I'm saying that's they're telling like you gonna get it. He does. He's not using me. Why does that be? Is it because he doesn't have any money? He doesn't have any money because he's 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 poor and I have money. Because of who my parents are, that means he's using me. No, every man who does not have money isn't using you. This one man is. Okay? Okay. And it's dumb that she doesn't get it. And then my bear even said if a, if y'all have been there for two years and the same people have the same feelings of, about him, it's not, it's, it's something up. And TT and Tyran both said, we just don't like him and how he moves. It's something about him that we don't trust. And, you know, and it's. I don't know that man in real life. I don't trust that man. So I can't imagine being in his presence and feeling, you know what I'm saying? And girl, T.T. Griffin even said, I've been around for a while. Like, I'm not rich at all. Um, however, 
the, they've never had an issue with me financially. It's, it's never been a money issue, so you can't say that because he's broke, they don't like him. They have no issue with me, and I'm not rich. You know what I'm But my intentions are good. And it seems as if uh, uh, Sam is separating you from the people in your life to alienate and to isolate you, and you don't see it. And she still did not see it. All she wants to do is get, Mom, stop talking. You're going to make me upset. I'm going to bring out Trevor. Fuck Trevor. No one is scared of Trevor. Okay? Points blank. Period. Y'all. Okay? At the end of the day, Chi Chi didn't say, look, look, I don't have time for this bullshit. I have things going on in my life. I don't, I'm not I'm not worried about you or whatever. Because, and then she stand up, stands up, because I'm pregnant. What? Oh, my God. I cannot believe. You didn't tell me. She was like, no. Mom, did you know? She's like, no. But once T.D. stood up, you can see it. Um, I can't believe that she didn't tell me that. You know what I'm saying? That's just not. And this, she's a hypocrite. T. Egypt literally said that T.T. was a hypocrite for being pregnant because T.T. told her don't get pregnant by Sam, but now T.T.'s pregnant by her man. T.T.'s man is different than Sam. T.T. is also older. You just turned, you just turned 21. You've been with that man since you was 19. You should not have gotten, and that man got two kids. There's a difference between T.T. being older and with her dude who seems to be stable enough to where, you know, no one has an issue with him versus Sam, who was a train wreck, who you would think was on meth, and he had his second dick for coins. I'm not sure. But the point is, T.T. isn't a hypocrite for advising you don't have a kid by this man who don't have no money, no job, two kids by two women. You know what I'm saying? He out here destitute. And he not straight and he not gay. T.T. is currently eight months pregnant in today's time or whatever. But I'm that was the whole episode. I'm done. I am over it, honey. Egypt deserves whatever Sam puts her through. No one should feel bad for Egypt. No one should feel bad for Egypt. Okay, if some, if, if Sam suck a dry, oh well. Okay, if Sam still all her wigs and all her, her, her um, workout outfits to wear on stage or whatever, who cares? If 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 he give Peppa all the drugs she won't and Peppa toes fall off, oh well. But no one seems to even understand that Sam is a piece of shit. He is. And it, again, it's not about him not having money. He is the devil. Okay? Okay, that was it. Okay, do not forget to like, comment, and share this video. You can also follow me on IG and our Twitter at J underscore Lee's underscore corner. And I will talk to y'all later. Until next time, peace.